All right, folks, we've looked at Pine 64 products in the past and tonight, this week, is no different except for one thing. This is the Rock Pro 64 single board computer. Well, this is the box for it. Should we open Sesame? Yeah. These unboxings are really simple because there's just <laughs> not a lot in the box. That's it. The Rock Pro 64 is, in fact, the most powerful single board computer from Pine 64. Uh, I'm going to tell you all about it. This is strictly an unboxing. It's not a product demonstration tonight, although we will be um, demonstrating it for you. Uh, we've got tape. And the immediate thing that I notice is that, uh, Marshman, I do not have my box cutters, but I do have access to scissors. There we go. So have your scissors handy, folks. And there it is. At the same form factor as the A64 from Pine64, this one is massive. I mean, as far as specifications go, you ready for this? It has an RK3399 hexacore 64-bit processor. So that's, uh, it has two ARM Cortex-A72 chips and a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53. So, to simplify that, this single board computer has six cores of processing power. It also has a Mali uh, T860 quad-core GPU. Let's see where the output is here on the board. There it is. We've got a full-sized HDMI. Now, this will provide 4K video at 60 frames per second on a single board computer. Unbelievable. It comes in two models. One is two gigabytes. This one is a four gigabyte. So that's the onboard RAM. Um, that is L LPDDR4. Uh, it also has 128 megabytes, uh, or uh, 128 megabit SPI boot flash. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot here on the bottom. That's for booting. And of course, what we would expect from a high-end SBC like this is the uh, EMMC port. So the EMMC will take up to 128 gigabytes. And that is, uh, we've clocked these boards running about four times as fast with the EMMC. So if you use that for your hard drive instead of the, uh, the micro SD, you're going to get about four times the performance out of your operating system from, from my preliminary tests anyways. We have one USB 3 port full size. Uh, we've got a, a type A uh, USB 3 as well. Um, we've got our type C at the bottom here. We've got two USB two ports and these are all dedicated hosts as well. So it's not pulling from the, um, ethernet, which is gigabit ethernet. There you go. And you'll notice as well, there is no Wi-Fi chip on the board. However, like, um, other Pine 64 boards that we've looked at, it has um, a riser card, that you, uh, basically a module that will add Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and all you have to do is simply plug that in, and we've looked at that uh, component before as well. As I mentioned, it's got true gigabit Ethernet, so that's not shared with the USB bus like a Raspberry Pi is, um, so it's true gigabit Ethernet. That's going to make it pretty reasonable for a NAS or something like that. And speaking of, one of the things that really excites me about this board, and I think, Sasha, that this is probably the thing that is making me excited about the Rock Pro 64, is that we have an X4 PCI Express open-ended slot. So presumably, I can plug in a card that's actually longer than uh, than X4. Uh, you've got to be able to power it, so if you're plugging a video card in there, for example, uh, you probably don't want to be drawing the power from the board itself. Um, power is 12 volts, and it's going to take a 3 amp um, if you're not really plugging anything into it. Uh, you might want to go with a 5 amp um, adapter for that if you were going to be plugging something into the PCI Express. So what you can do with this, of course, with PCI Express is the first time I've ever seen it on a single board computer. Mm -hmm. um, you can plug in, um, for example, storage peripherals, a RAID controller, things like that, making it really a, a great solution for a true NAS. I have an NVMe card here. Um, that we use periodically, and, and so I'm just going to, I want to see what this is going to look like if I plug this card into right. my single board computer. And there ah. you go. Can you imagine? It's, a, it's an SBC, folks, so think along the terms of a Raspberry Pi. And, uh, you know, just to put it into perspective, a single board computer that is only going to cost about $80, and it has X4 
PCI Express. I'm eager to try all the different things that I can do with that. Yeah. I'm not sure what we can do with that, but we're going to play around with that. I've got some GPU risers. We're going to have a lot of fun um, seeing what kind of throughput we can get, seeing what kind of thing we can do with, say, um, GPU mining on this board, for example. Um, so that is pretty sleek. Um, Beyond that, of course, we've got the GPIO Pi 2 style. Uh, we've got uh, MIPI DSI interface, EDP interface, touch panel interface. We've got all, look at all these connectors here for, for different uh, peripherals. We've got uh, UART, SPI, I2C. Uh, so if you're a maker, you want to add some other per peripherals or sensors, um, it's definitely got the hookups for it. And again, the full GPIO at the top here. But that PCI Express, that is blowing my mind. <laughs> One final mention here, this board is LTS, which in this particular case uh, represents long-term supply. So that means Pine64 is committed to supplying these boards for at least five years. We're going to see them right through 2023 and possibly beyond. Uh, so that is fantastic. You're, you're investing in a board that is going to be supported and available for years to come. Really excited to plug this in. We're going to be looking at this over the, uh, the next couple of weeks. That is the Rock Pro 64, available in both 2 gig and this one, the, the 4 gig uh, RAM model. Check it out. It's six cores, and you can get one at cat5.tv slash pine64.